Hello and welcome. Today I just want to show you how I prevent holes in my t-shirts and tank tops from wearing jeans and jean shorts a lot. I tend to get holes where my clothes rub against the um, fly that juts out of the waist and it's very annoying. So a few years ago I started putting interfacing um, on the inside which is not a new concept, but I think I do mine a little differently, so I wanted to go ahead and, and show you. The interfacing I use is stretch and lightweight, and your, your knit stretch, so, so should your interfacing, always. So this is Pelon EK130. Um, you can use any stretch, lightweight, fusible that you like. I use white for the light colors and uh, black for the dark colors. Today I'll be showing you white on a dark t-shirt though so that you can see it better. Um, I, I started out making them square, but I found that the corners would peel up pretty quickly through laundering, so I went to making them round and I've been much happier with that. Um, I use this souffle dish and uh, to make my circles. I, I've never made a souffle in my life. <laughs> I don't know why I have it, but it works for this, and so would any bowl or, or uh, pattern that you make. I like to have it at least around five inches, though, because uh, that just allows for movement. Instead of just, I know that the holes are usually in one little area, but um, I just like to, to have plenty of room for that, just in case. So I put my bowl upside down first and I use an air erasable pen just because I like this kind and anything will do I'm sure but the interfacing even though you put it on the smooth side for uh, tracing is still a little bit rough but this works really well so you just go around like that I've actually already done it and uh, then I like to use my 28 millimeter rotary cutter rather than the big 45 because I find this is a little easier to go around the curves. So then you go ahead and, and cut it out. I won't have to show you all that. And I use my no cry glove, love it. <laughs> These are great. Okay, so you, so you have your first one cut out. You can either pin it on your interfacing like this, just one pin and then use that as your pattern and keep going if you wanna make a lot of them. Uh, which I do because I just store them in here that I'm ready to go if I buy or make a t-shirt. On the black, I take one of the white ones and pin it to the black because I don't have a white marker that works well on it. So I will meet you at the ironing board. I tried my t-shirt on wrong side out and used a pin to mark where the top of the of my fly uh, my pants jut out and I have this folded in half right now just to show you that it's normal for the pin to be off center because the fly overlaps so that's fine you can move it in the center or that's really good enough because the circle is pretty big so what I'm going to do is take my Trico circle and find the greatest amount of stretch try it. It's not that way. It's this way. So I'm going to put that over my pin in the center of it and remove the pin. And then just use a press cloth like you would normally with interfacing. This is organza. I like the organza ones. You can see through them. Now as far as marking on, on your um, self, if you have a Say you bought five t-shirts and they're all exactly the same brand and the same length, the hem length is the same, <clears throat> then you don't have to try on every single one, you can just simply measure. But if you have different brands and different types, uh, then I would just go ahead and put it on and make sure. So I have my iron set on wool. Uh, my iron gets too hot for what it says, so. And plenty of steam and then just press down I'll give it a couple bursts for about 20-30 seconds. Up and down, move it over. You never want to go sideways because you could dislodge your circle. Get 
a good seal on there. Um, always wash your t-shirts first and get the chemicals out. You'll get a better seal that way. And I just, I have a whole stack to do. <laughs> I ran across a sale and I washed them and dried them. I used um, Bounce, which I actually had told myself not to do just to see if that made a difference because I'm pretty sure that the dryer sheets leave a film. <laughs> That's too late. I'm not going to wash them again. Okay, then just let that dry. I'm testing it here. It's got a good seal. This um, little method, it won't last forever. But I usually get at least six months, maybe even a year out of some. It depends on how many times you wear them and how many times you wash them. Where's the front? Okay, so here's the front. I've never, I've never had a um, see-through around the edges and I think it's because the interfacing is so thin and it doesn't change the drape either. So give it a try and uh, see if your t-shirts last longer. I, I swear by it. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.